What's up, everybody? Been quite a while since we made one of these videos. Uh, pretty much everything has changed. It's been hard to uh, pick the camera back up, but my boys love watching these videos, and I love going back to see where we've came from. So we're going to do a quick update on what all's changed since the last time we did one of these and show you what projects we got going on. Let's do it. So if you didn't know already, uh, the biggest change is uh, me and my brother both lost our parents this summer. Um, my mom died of a heart attack in the middle of the night. And then after that, my dad's Parkinson's, he declined extremely fast and, and passed away about a month later. Uh, yeah, that was pretty rough losing both of them that fast. And it's it's changed changed a lot. So after dealing with them passing and moving in the harvest, it was definitely a, a rough harvest. Um fairly smooth picking. We had good corn, we had decent beans, but just mentally, uh it was gave me a lot of time to sit and think. I was a lot of time in equipment by myself, thinking about them, missing dad being out there with me, but also a time to, I don't, I don't know how to say it, just a time for me to, to prove myself, to, to honor them. That's kind of what I'm saying. To, time to be out there and to honor them by working and continuing something that they built my grandpa built and his grandpa before him. We, we made it all through harvest and, and we came out the other side here. This is the beginning of 2023 and we're starting to get ready for, uh, for spring. So if everything's going good, it's just everything's different and it's weird. It's been really hard to... Uh, I've been wanting to make, continue making these videos, but hard to put together what to say and, and how to kind of go about it. But yeah, I'm just gonna throw some pictures in here of them and, and us together and then we'll jump into updates and, and talk about the coming year here. So the biggest update would be that me and my wife bought my brother out of the farm. Uh, so we own it 100% now, which is really awesome. Uh, it's something I'm really proud of and it, I love the idea of carrying on our business and and something that, that's been in our family that long. My My grandpa's grandpa sold a farm that was across town and moved out here in 1940. 
So that's really cool. It, been, we've been out here at this location for that long and and now we get to carry that on and hopefully one of my twins will carry it on after that. We'll see see if they want to do that when they get older. We're still still pushing to grow it and hopefully it'll be something worth them continuing when we get to that point. So yeah, that part's really cool. I'm, we were really excited about that. Hopefully, you'll still see my brother around here helping. He's definitely, he's living in my parents' house, which is right here on the farm. So we're all right next to each other still. But yeah, we're really excited about that. And looking forward to continuing to grow this brand and, and our operation. Uh, we, we got a lot of things planned and I got a lot of things coming together here and now we have the equipment that we need we just need to to get the acres or get the business we're going to start looking into doing some custom work and i'll show you that here in a second but that's that's the cool part about this um, we're both really excited about taking over the farm and continuing the tradition in the next generation here so yeah, that means a lot to me and I'm really excited about it. So with the prices being so high, it's really hard to find ground. People are bidding crazy numbers that it's harder for a smaller guy like us to compete with. Um, I think we'll get there and we'll find more ground. But in the meantime, we're starting to look into more custom work. This is something I bought right before my dad passed away. He was in a nursing home and I think his last week I bought this. I went and showed him pictures. He was really excited about it. So, yeah, here it is. This is a 93 International floater with a new leader spreader on it. And uh, we're currently working on rebuilding it, putting all new bearings new belt, rebuilding the whole box. So uh, we don't have any issues. There's all the new stuff. And there's more that hasn't came yet. So that's been a pretty big project. This is, it's an older truck, but it's in pretty decent condition. Uh, I spread all our acres with potash and rye this year, beans and corn. We did it across our entire uh, operation planted rye for a cover crop and I spread it all with this. It's pretty fun. I like it a lot. But that's something I really want to get into custom spreading. So that's that's one way we can grow our operation here that I'm really excited about. I used to run a spreader for Coal Alliance when I was younger and I always really enjoyed it. Uh, obviously when I graduated college I moved away from Coal Alliance and I've been doing other things on my day job, but this is awesome. I'm really excited about that. I, as we keep going, I'm gonna keep investing money into this. The bed's gonna be good now after this. And probably next winter, I'm gonna upgrade it to do variable rate and put a different monitor in there. And you know, that, that's something that I've always wanted to do and finally pulled the trigger and did it. And it's gonna be the thing that I always remember as, that was kind of the last thing I bought and showed dad before he passed away. And he kept saying, I'm gonna get out there and run that. That's gonna be my truck. And I was like, yeah, it is dad, you get better and be out there. So that, that truck means a lot to me and I think it's gonna be Hopefully a good way to grow our business here. So that's what that's our first one. I'm gonna go show you the other thing we picked up that hopefully we can use to build our business too. So this is our second big purchase. This fall my cousin started helping me, Josh Mulkey. He he uh he has a CDL and he has a lot of farm experience, so he's been a big help. And this is something me and him talked about for a long time is 
is to purchase this and hopefully this is another thing we can grow and start doing custom more custom work because we have done a couple jobs with this already this is our new semi we just bought it's a 1988 9300 beautiful condition guy just repainted it all made it really nice stacks are cool but i think we're going to cut them down a little bit so they don't hit the auger but we put the hopper trailer that i had on this semi on this one because it's a really good fit it's a little bit bigger and this one has a bigger motor and can handle it yeah it's kind of dark in there can't really see too much but yeah it's nice this one's got a sleeper on it which we don't really need but that's cool anyhow and then we also got a second trailer for the white truck we already had this is a 34 foot trailer and it holds around like 900 bushel which is really nice for this truck because it doesn't have the horsepower this one does so that helps a lot if you fully max it out you're still not overweight you're probably 78,000 which is plenty for this truck it's it's a good match so yeah that's that's our next thing we're getting into custom hauling and that could be something that could make us more money down the road here too custom hauling custom spreading and yeah, we're just doing what we can do here to improve the, the business and, and hopefully someday have enough business to do this thing full time and keep Josh with me to work and still pick up other part time people in the spring and fall when we need it. So that, that one's pretty cool. I, he's drove this truck more than I have, but it's a pretty cool truck. He's got a CDL, so it's, it's right up his alley and uh, I kind of like my old my old international so yep that one's that's a pretty cool truck I mean we're both really excited about that so that's the two big purchases we've made the semi and the spreader and besides that I think the rest of our equipment's pretty much the same we've moved to more of a no-till situation now with cover crops um, which I think is the the way I really like doing it it helps for one I don't have as much labor now with dad being around so chisel plowing and working it all up with the land all finisher is very time consuming so there's that point I don't have the time and the other side of that is I, after doing it on the last couple fields this last year, I hate seeing the ground that powdery. Like after you're done planting, there'll just be dust, topsoil all over your planter. It's really easy to blow when it gets windy. So we did 100 acres last year that was no-till and it came out as our best field in the first year that we no-tilled it. So that's definitely the way we're gonna go. And it worked out good the first year. We'll see how it works out this year when we do almost 100% no-till. We did run the vertical till over some of the corn stalks, but that was maybe an inch or two deep, just basically to chop up the stalks a little bit. And I don't know if we'll do that in the future. We'll see. I still like chopping up the stalks, but I don't know if it's really necessary. We'll see what happens this year as, as we go through here. But yeah, that's that's our new business plan here that we're that we're moving into is custom spreading, custom hauling, and then hopefully the acres come. At some point, we gotta find more acres and and turn this thing into something we can live off of. I mean, we got great equipment. We got good sized equipment now. I mean, if you go back and watch some of my first videos, we were, we had a six row planter and a 15 row drill. And now we got two 30 foot planters, one for beans, one for corn. And 
We used to just have straight trucks that held like 300 bushel, and now we got two semis and a tandem. So that huge upgrades. We can we can go a little farther away from the farm now, and it's not as hard because we can haul a lot more at once. But yeah, that's that's where we're at. There's one more thing I kind of forgot about. Um, we put up a new wet tank right here. So it's basically the same as this bin, um, but this one's going to be used as a wet tank. So one of our biggest issues when we're picking corn is this is our old wet tank. It only holds about 2,000 bushel or so. So we'd fill up really, really fast and then we'd be done for the day. So I'd have a Saturday off of work or a Sunday off of work and we'd be done by noon and not be able to do anything else. So we put up this guy. This is a 5,000 bushel bin, like 5,500. And then we still have the cone tank too, which is 2,000. So we can pick between the two, like 7,500 bushels in a day. Plus fill the semis, there's another 2,000. I mean, if we had a good day, we could pick 10,000 bushel in a day and and be fine. So that that's gonna make such a huge difference. We're gonna go from being able to pick like I don't know, 10, 12 bush acres to, I, I can't do, I'm not doing the math that I had, but a lot, 30 acres or so, big difference. And then we both got, got unloads that'll run up to the dryer. And then the dryer runs into that, that bend there. But yeah, so this should be a huge, huge upgrade. Help us get through our fall so much faster. I mean, double, triple the amount that we can pick every day, which is such, that has been our biggest bottleneck in this operation since I started helping, because we dry all of our own corn and then store it and haul it back out. Uh, so that, it will be amazing. Huge, huge upgrade right there. Well, that's our update. Uh, I know this video wasn't the most exciting. I, just wanted to get everybody caught up. It's been, I think the last video we made was last spring. I didn't do any in the fall. I just couldn't make myself do it. It was just too, too much in my head, too much thinking about missing, missing my parents, missing my dad being out there with me. But we're, we're gonna try and get back into this, especially going in the spring here. Got a lot of cool things going on on the farm, and and I hope you enjoy watching. If you've watched the video this long, please hit the like button and, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.